Whether you're searching for an elusive artifact, a kidnapped princess, or just trying to track down that last evil boss, chances are you're gonna do it in a castle. No thanks, bro. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video game castles. For this list, we've selected the most iconic and impressive castles in video games based on their design and notability, along with how well they stand out compared to their contemporaries. As per the usual, we're sticking to one castle per franchise. <laughs> Number 10, Enns Castle, Pokemon Black and White. A castle built on the backs of overworked Pokemon, Enns Castle is the headquarters for Team Plasma and the final challenge for your trainer in Pokemon Black and White. This castle can only be accessed after defeating the Elite Four and becoming the Pokemon champion in the Unova region. At the top of the castle, you find and battle N, the leader of Team Plasma, and you will also find a legendary Pokemon here, depending on which version you have, either the mighty Reshiram or the powerful Zekrom. Number 9, the Salazar Castle, Resident Evil 4. I was starting to wonder when you might notice us. Resident Evil 4 eventually brings you out of the rural, Eastern European-style village that you have been exploring for the first chunk of the game and threw you into a giant castle filled with angry cultists. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Salazar's castle is memorable because it threw the fantastic Resident Evil 4 on its head by switching up the game's atmosphere entirely. This castle isn't for the faint of heart, filled with devastating monsters, the mysterious Los Illuminados priests and monks with all sorts of deadly weapons, and, most importantly, the creepy Napoleon wannabe caretaker, Ramon Salazar. Me llamo Ramon Salazar, the eighth castellan of this magnificent architecture. Number eight, Castle Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein series. <laughs> oh. Castle Wolfenstein has made appearances in most of the entries in this long-running series. Any castle that acts as a hideout for robotically modified Nazis toting machine guns, spectral Hitler envoys, and hundreds of Nazi grunts deserves a spot on this list. As American spy BJ Blazkowicz, you were initially held captive in Castle Wolfenstein, and must stage a daring escape so you can regroup and begin the resistance against Hitler, who is in the midst of creating an army of undead soldiers. In case you were curious, these games aren't historically accurate. Number 7, Mordrox Castle, Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair was well ahead of its time by using laser disc technology to provide arguably the first cinematic experience in gaming. As Dirk the Daring, you are tasked with rescuing the beautiful Princess Daphne from the evil dragon Singe, who has trapped her in the wizard Mordrox castle. Please save me! The cage is locked with the key! Though the gameplay was limited to quick time events and single button presses, Dragon's Lair did an amazing job of showcasing a fully living, breathing castle environment filled with monsters and death traps at every turn. Seriously, who'd want to live in a place like that? Number six. The Blue Palace, Elder Scrolls, Skyrim. It's settled then. Brief as life can be in Skyrim, at least we'll have each other. In a game that's packed with impressive structures and mighty castles, it's difficult to pick one that stands out above the rest. With unique architecture, the Blue Palace in Solitude stands out as one of the most memorable structures in the entire Elder Scrolls series. It's an honorary title, mainly but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. Built upon an immense stone arch that bridges over the Karth River, Solitude and its castle can be spotted from a great distance. The gods are watching! The spirits of our ancestors are stirring! Number five, Hyrule Castle, The Legend of Zelda series. The geographical centerpiece of most Zelda games, Hyrule Castle is home to Princess Zelda. Depictions of Hyrule Castle vary, but it usually plays an important role in the story and sometimes acts as a playable dungeon. Hyrule Castle first appeared in the Super Nintendo classic, A Link to the Past, in which the evil Ganon uses it as a hideout after kidnapping Zelda. Though the coolest depiction of Hyrule Castle is in Wind Waker, where the castle has been submerged underwater for eons and all of its inhabitants are frozen in suspended animation. Mm -hmm. 
Number four, Dr. Wily's Castle Mega Man series. The hideout of the insane scientist Dr. Wily, this castle is the only one on this list in the shape of a giant malevolent human skull. Wily's Castle makes an appearance as the final stage in most of the original Mega Man games. Given that said games are notoriously difficult, you can expect the final stage to be nearly impossible. Filled with tough enemies, lots of precise platforming sections, rematches against the game's earlier bosses, and of course, Dr. Wily himself, usually piloting some sort of death machine. Number 3. Dranglet Castle. Dark Souls 2. You have fought admirably on your journey, cursed undead. I am Nishambra, Queen of Dranglik. Dranglik is the land in which Dark Souls 2 unfolds, a massive and treacherous place that, though a formerly prestigious and peaceful land, has fallen under hard times with the advent of a nasty undead curse. Dranglik Castle, the royal family's former headquarters, acts as the gateway to the Throne of Want, a source of extreme power. As you can imagine, the monsters and traps in this massive castle are insanely difficult. But then again, this is Dark Souls we're talking about. Is there anything that's not insanely difficult? Number 2. Bowser's Castle, Super Mario Series, and Mario Kart Series. The Mario series is likely responsible for popularizing castles in video games. From the end stage castles in Super Mario, to Princess Peach's castle acting as a central hub in Super Mario 64, and most notably, Bowser's castle. Is there a villain with a worse princess kidnapping track record than Bowser? Before rescuing Princess Peach, you'll find tons of lava, spikes, Koopas, Goombas, and Bowser himself, patiently waiting to have his head stomped in. In Mario Kart, Bowser's castle acts as a series staple in each game, as an infuriating track filled with lava pits, thwomps, and sharp turns. Before we climb the ramparts of our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Dracula's Castle. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Dracula's Castle has made appearances throughout the Castlevania series, but it's at its most iconic in the PS1 Metroidvania classic, Symphony of the Night. Packed to the gills with monsters, bosses, treasures, and secrets, Dracula's Castle feels like one of the most expansive environments in gaming history. The protagonist, Alucard, is tasked with destroying the castle and its owner, Dracula. But his mission gets turned upside down, literally. As in, when you think you're about to reach the end of the game, you realize it's only halfway done when you have to go through the whole castle again, upside down. Is this a cheap design trick or a brilliant gameplay choice? Meh, it can be both. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Which castle would you want to live in? Ugh once the monster problem was fixed. For more well-crafted top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. <laughs>